when you see other people, especially online, I feel like a lot of people ask themselves like, how are they so motivated all the time? How are they motivated to go to the gym? Nobody's motivated to go to the gym all the time. Nobody. Nobody. If they say they are, they're lying. There is no secret. There is no magic formula to be consistent with the gym. If someone asks me, how do you wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym? I just do. I just wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym. Is it hard? Yes. Absolutely, I I question all of my life choices when my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. Especially now in the winter days because it is dark outside, it is cold outside. You don't want to leave your bed, it's very comfy. Find a why. Why do you want to work out at 5 a.m. in the morning? Or it doesn't have to be 5 a.m. Maybe you go after work, maybe you go in the middle of the day. I don't know when you go work out, but I feel like you need a why because every time you don't want to go and you're like, why am I doing... I have these moments, I have these moments where I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I going to the gym at 5 a.m. in the morning? And then I remind myself, going to the gym, number one, makes me feel better, okay? I do struggle mentally a lot, especially now in winter. Going to the gym really, really helps me with my mental health. I also feel better if I go. I feel stronger, I feel fitter, and it helps me reach my goals. Not only in a way to reach my physical goals, because we all have physical goals if we want to go to the gym, I assume, but also to reach my other goals, because when I go to the gym, I feel like I have have more energy, I feel better afterwards, I feel like I want to do more, I feel like I can take on the world after I'm going to the gym. Not all the time, sometimes, okay? Have something to look forward to in the morning, whatever that is. This can be your morning coffee. For me personally, it sounds very dumb, but it is sitting down on my vanity, doing my makeup while watching a YouTube video. Because I love nothing more than sitting here watching a YouTube video. It feels like I'm getting ready with a friend and I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. Has anyone else been very, very emotional the past week? Because I feel like the past week, all I did was pretty much cry. Make going to the gym cute, make it aesthetic, make it a vibe, romanticize it, however you want to say it. So for me personally, that always means wearing a cute gym outfit. It sounds very stupid, but it's one of my greatest choice. It's, I, I love wearing a cute gym outfit. Nothing makes me feel better than wearing a cute gym outfit. Have a good playlist, have something, I don't know, your cute water bottle, gym bag, whatever it is. That helps me. It helps me to be kind of like motivated. Have a good night routine. Your night routine will make or break it if you want to wake up at 5 a.m. I have an entire video about my night routine and where I'm showing you how I prepare the night before to make sure that I'm having a smooth morning because let's be honest I, I don't have a brain at 5 a.m. in the morning I can think I cannot make any decisions when I wake up at 5 a.m. so I have to be super well prepared from the night before I get ready to grab myself and then leave this is not so much about how to stay motivated to work out this is only how to stay motivated to work out if you want to work out in the morning right <laughs> Honestly, I thought I would never be that person. Like, I remember when I started working in October, I was like, I cannot go to the gym at 6 a.m. because I cannot go to bed that early. I cannot wake up that early. I'm gonna be so tired all day, but I also don't wanna go in the afternoon because then it's busy and I wanna be home and blah, blah. And then I just tried it. Now I've been sticking with it ever since. Even if you think you're not the person who can wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym, maybe you can, you just need to try it. Tip number five is to switch up things if you can. Maybe you wanna switch up the time of the day where you work out, maybe you want to switch out the days where you want to work out. I personally like to switch up my training style, like I do different exercises, I maybe don't do a pull and push day, maybe I switch to upper body again, implement some different cardio. Switching up your routine a little bit is what helps me a lot. Obviously also buying new stuff like your workout clothes and stuff like that, it always helps, but let's be real, most of us probably don't have the money to do that all the time, so I personally just like to switch some things up from time to time, if I can. Tip number six is accepting that you won't always be motivated to work out. It's a part of life. You're not gonna go to the gym and be motivated all the time. You're not gonna love it every time you go there. And you're also not gonna have a good workout every time you go to the gym. It is so rough on the days where you go to the gym and you just have the worst workout ever. And you're like, oh my gosh, why am I even here? Sometimes, I don't know, when it's busy and you have a bad day or when the weights are extra heavy that day, it's not always a joy to go 
to the gym by accepting that you are not always motivated it kind of takes off some pressure the most important part is that you went anyways like you went to the gym i mean that's amazing you didn't have the best workout whatever next one is gonna be better again you know tip number seven is to take a break i feel like taking a break sometimes can really really help especially if you have been going to the gym <gasps> for a few weeks so this is when i usually take a break and then i just i just need a week off actually or a few days depending on however you feel but then i just i just need some off time i need off time i'm gonna finish my makeup off of camera something i wanted to say because of the being emotional the last week is that i've been really struggling especially yesterday to get up and go to the gym which i didn't really have until now so obviously if you're feeling sick if you're really not feeling well please don't feel any pressure to go to the gym or if you have other things in your life for example i have a busy work week this week i don't know if i can make it to the gym four times a week probably not it's fine it's fine and next week is gonna be better and i also couldn't work out yesterday because i was feeling so bad mentally i know i say the gym makes me feel better but yesterday i couldn't even bring myself up to go to gym like i knew it would have been just horrible would have hated every second so i decided to stay home because i was really not feeling well mentally and finished my makeup and today i am training legs and i'm gonna show you the best glute workout ever like ever 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 i love this so much this is my favorite favorite glute workout of all time it's glutes and hamstring focus and you will absolutely feel feel the burn and it's gonna give you such a good pump and uh, I I absolutely I love it I love it I love it so much by the way I'm wearing the Gymshark bundle sports bra and the honor active effortless leggings they make such nice curves I love them <laughs> just beaming i actually forgot what it's like to just be out and about and try finding a parking space where the lighting is good <laughs> when you want to film how to stay motivated to eat healthy for me personally eating healthy is the hardest part about being fit losing weight whatever your goal is food is so much more work than your workout because you go to the gym for one or two hours and then it's done but food is like pretty much the entire day my first tip and probably the most important tip is to plan your meals i personally love to meal prep but you don't have to if you don't want to but i just feel like when i meal prep i already have all of my meals for the entire week especially now when i'm at work i have my breakfast and my lunch so i can just you know take it with me and eat it at work so when i'm super hungry lunchtime hits i have already my meal i don't have to think about what i want to eat and i also don't make any bad decision <gasps> because usually when i'm you know very hungry starving you know i don't i don't make the best decisions i don't make the best choices this cannot happen if it's already prep same for dinner i'm hungry i'm starving i don't want to think about what i want to eat i don't want to start cooking when i'm starving so i already have my meals prepped 
and ready for the week. If you do not want to meal prep, you can also try flexible meal prepping, which means you cook all the ingredients for the week and then you can mix and match so you don't have to eat the same thing the entire week or you don't meal prep at all because you just don't want to meal prep. At least make sure that you plan your meals for the week. Like what do you want to eat for breakfast? What do you want to eat for lunch? What do you want to eat for dinner? And especially also plan in some snacks for if you're hungry <gasps> because sometimes you're more hungry or you know there comes a day when maybe the time Time between your lunch and your dinner is gonna be a little bit longer and you don't want to ruin your goals by I don't know grabbing McDonald's or something like that my favorite snacks are fruit which is not very filling and when I'm more hungry you can also have some protein bars I like to buy these protein puddings I know they're not the healthiest but I'd rather have one of these puddings than you know something else very unhealthy you can also have like an apple with peanut butter or something that fills you up a little bit rice waffles i also really like rice waffles make sure that you have something to grab for when getting hungry tip number two try to find a why and try to make it deeper than just losing weight so for me personally i go to the gym a lot and i feel like when i don't eat right i feel like it's a waste of time that i'm going to the gym in the first place also food makes me feel better healthy food like if i eat garbage and i do eat garbage like i love mcdonald's i love a pizza whatever but after that i usually don't feel my best i'm usually bloated my food is also energy so maybe you need more energy from your food there can be so many reasons why you want to eat healthy tip number three is to find meals that you like and don't be too extreme about it or cut anything out because once you're too extreme once you're starving yourself you will start to binge eat if you cut out certain food groups if you cut out carbs you will crave it more if you cut out chocolate you will crave it more so i personally try to eat healthy most days and then i have my treats on the weekend but that doesn't mean that i'm eating super clean the entire week like sometimes um we're having popcorn in the evening i mean not that popcorn is something bad but you know it's just I'm not having a plain yogurt every night. Tip number four is to make cooking as easy as possible for you. If that means for you that you have to order, I don't know, HelloFresh or if you have to, there are these meal services where you get your meals ready and prepped where you don't have to do anything, please do that. Please do anything that helps you. So for me personally, it's like I don't want to make recipes where I have too many ingredients, where I have to do a lot of cutting or maybe make like sauces, dress. Like I, I sometimes make like some sauce or some dressing, don't get me wrong but I don't have the willpower to do this all the time okay so I need to find very very easy simple quick to make recipes usually for breakfast I have my overnight oats this is so easy and quick to make and then for lunch I usually have I don't know some sort of a bowl just some random ingredients thrown together and then put a sauce like a bought sauce on top of it and for dinner i like to make something maybe like a bolognese where i just have like one big pot and i don't really have to do anything you know or i like to make things in the oven where i also don't have to do anything so i make my cooking as easy as i possibly can and the last tip is to make it a long-term goal like you have to make it a lifestyle if you want to especially lose weight and you want to lose weight in like two months three months i don't know and you want to lose a lot of weight for example chances are that you're gonna gain it back and that you're also gonna gain back more than you were weighing before my tip is to not be super extreme you can be super healthy okay but don't neglect other things like have your cheat meal on the weekend like have a saturday where you order pizza and chill at home or go out with a friend or i don't know visit your grandma still do stuff like that and rather have the process take a little bit longer and make it more of a relaxed approach because at the end of the day you want to be able to stick to it you want to be able to eat healthy pretty much for the rest of your life before i was committing to this i would be eating whatever random stuff like r the most random stuff now i always make sure that i have my protein my carbs and my fat in my meals and i try to eat like that most of the time of course not all the time but i try my best to be pretty consistent with my food there are weeks where i'm not consistent at all where i only have takeaways like life life is happening okay life is always happening we're all not perfect but we still want to have a healthier lifestyle so these are my tips for how to stay motivated to work out and to eat healthy i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see my next video bye